guys and welcome to another B Gamer video. So this video is definitely way different from what we usually have on the channel. And that's because I made a peep in the big wide world iceberg. Watch the entire show if you if you actually understand what's going on in this iceberg. And if you're new to an ice to an iceberg, here's here's a simplification of what an iceberg is. No, it's not like the actual iceberg, even though we have a picture of an iceberg. Okay, more importantly, basically, as you go deeper into the iceberg, the weirder the stuff gets in really anything, like shows to movies to cartoons, really anything, actually. So, like, the top layer is, like, the stuff that has been basically cleared up, which is not much. But there is a ton of stuff that down at the bottom. And as you go deeper through the iceberg, the videos... Well, no, not the videos. I'm stupid. The pictures, as you can see over here, get more cursed. I gotta say, I don't know why Quack has a mustache here. Okay, more importantly. So... Let's start off with the first category. The stuff that has been that has been basically cleared up or just cleared up. And for this we have a Peep in the Big Wide World theme song logo. Because why not? Because that shows like stuff that has been basically completed. Like you know, like cleared up. Okay. So let's start. Tom's main goal. Now, it's honestly pretty obvious, and I don't have to do a lot of explaining here, but read or just watch Peeping the Big White World, all the episodes, so you can understand. Okay, so Tom's main goal. It's pretty obvious. Do I even need to say it? Just watch one Peeping the Big White World episode that, that features Tom, and you'll understand. Plus, it has to do with the, with the way of life. So I'm not really going to explain it. The origin of the peep and chirp. I got to say, this is pretty cleared up, but parts of it are kind of cleared up. But I won't get into detail with that. So, the thing about peep and chirp, we can def we definitely know... The reason why I put peep um, on this is because... There is a video of Peep in the Big Wide World. It's like a 34, 37 minute long video. Check it out. Um, it actually shows what happened to Peep. I won't give you the details. So yeah. That's cleared up. Moving on to the second category. Now I gotta say, whoever made this, this is some really good fan art of Peep in the Big Wide World. I like it a lot. Okay, but this is like for stuff that has been not too cleared up. So let's start. 2020 episodes. No, I don't mean the amount of episodes. The episode count is not 2020. I mean that, well, the episodes, there have been like one minute shorts. Well, one minute and 34 seconds to be specific. Shorts in 2020. And they've been frequently coming up. But then they just went by, like, bye bye, I'm out of here, goodbye. Moving on, duck counting. Now the reason why I put it here is because I wasn't too sure if duck counting was just something that Quack made up, or he actually knew that it was like some sort of actual thing for him and his species. And that's why I put it up. Duck counting, you know. 1, 3, 7, 49, 49, 72, 100. I don't know if it's exactly that. But it's definitely just counting. But very bizarre and out of shape. So, yeah. Also, Quack looked, er, well, acted like he was saying that the duck counting was actually real. More importantly, let's go to the next thing. Quack's origin. Now we go to the now we see Quack's origin. Now it's not too certain what Quack's origin is. It's pretty obvious that he came out of an egg, but I mean there's a chance that he could be some sort of alien super dimensional being, but I guess that's like an overstatement. 
because in the story, well, in the episode of Bedtime Stories, Quack said that he it looked like that Quack literally came out of a star when he was explaining a story. It was illustrated. And why did it even said that Quack was in a was actually out of came out of a like a star outside of the continuity of space, I guess. And he he said that he was the first of literally all the animals. Of course, we know that is not true, but who cares? That's pretty cool. Moving on to the third category. Now, I got to say, this is good and also very cool and weird. I don't know why I said this, but it's still cool. It's weird. So, this is going to be for the more weird, weird ones. Moving on. Now, you might be wondering, why did I even put the big wide world here? Well, the thing is, we don't know its limits the limits of the big wide world really anything past the big wide world of what they've explored they've only really explored green island and that they've only really explored the big wide world that they've seen and also green island that's basically it and it's just very weird because like anything could be out we have actually seen people go to purple island which is actually shown in the last layer but i'll get into that later next up quack and the big blue pond now there was a video by peep in the big white world and it said that quack wanted to make a show and he called it quack and the big blue pond just like and it had the same ring to peep and the big white world so yeah, that's pretty cool, but not really any information is said about that. So yeah. Next up, the suburbs. Now it's pretty obvious that Peep lives. Well, Peep, Trip, and Quack they live near a suburb or a suburban area. I don't know even how to word it at this point. Lol. Okay, so like we can definitely tell that they're near the suburbs, but. What about it? Like, it's just, we haven't heard that much about the suburbs. And it also connects to this next one, humans. We've definitely seen humans a few times, like only like very little, like one or two times, I don't know, in the entire show. Next up, mountains. Hey, you remember that episode of Peep in the Big Wide World where they went to Green Island and Trip and Peep went on, the, went on the top of the tree and they could see everything? Yeah, this was one of those times. And by the way, th this also connects to the suburbs because they did see a big suburban town and they also saw some mountains in the distance. Honestly, maybe there could be adventures of them actually venturing into the suburbs or the mountains or forming relationships with humans. I don't know. Maybe. Now we go into the last layer of the Peep in the Big White World iceberg. And we have this really cursed picture of Quack. Not only does he have a mustache like, um, Bill. Do you notice something on him? Quack has limbs. Oh my god, I just can't wrap my head around that. Like, why? Who would do this? Who would make this? Okay, more importantly. Now I'm. Now there are tons of things. So here's the thing. These three things, I'm just going to jumble it up into one long fact. Well, theory, I guess. So we have the season, the season 5 discontinuation, the 11 year long hiatus, yes I saw, and season 6. Now, literally nothing has been said about season 6, and f season 5 has been discontinued for 11 years, and that connects to the 11 year long hiatus, and I'm not, and that's without, that's not, counting the 2020 episodes but those are just shorts they don't really i guess they count as kind of episodes but not really episodes so that's why i put an 11 year long hiatus 
And season five has been discontinued since season five, episode four. Um, the last episode of Peeping the Big Eye World was Mud Muddle, apparently. I really liked that, but I don't get why it's the last episode. It's pretty weird. Okay, more importantly, Beyond the Big Wide World. Now, this actually stems to the fact that the Big Wide World, we don't know how far it is, and that's in the, the this layer. Beyond the Big Wide World. So, here's the thing. We don't know what's beyond the Big Wide World, but we've definitely seen stuff beyond the Big Wide World. And this also connects to the next thing we're going to talk about just in a few seconds. Purple Island. Now, Purple Island, remember that episode where Peep went into the, into this eggshell? Just, um, an Easter eggshell. And he sailed off to sea because the water currents brought him there. And he actually saw Green Island, which was definitely a sight for him. But then he saw this other purple island and basically nothing has been said about it it's really weird just check out the episode if you want to make some theories about it uh send the link send a link to me in the comment section below okay now the final one Season 5, episode 53, and season 5, episode 56. Now, this also stems to the 20, 20 episodes, because here's the thing. Someone decided to label some of the episodes season 5, episode 53, and season 5, episode 56. Like, what? I mean, I wasn't too sure. Was it just some sort of stupid clickbait? Or was it actually real, and there were just some lost episodes that haven't been there, and they were just scrapped? I don't know. Ba literally nothing has been said about that. It's just something I found on YouTube. And there were just the shorts. I was really, I was really intrigued by all this information about people in the Big Wide World, and I was also intrigued by how much mystery there is to people in the Big Wide World. So... I just want to give all my viewers a big thanks for watching watching my videos. And if you watch my videos, um, you're also thanked. So, yeah. Like the video and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. If you want to see some more random YouTube content, just do what I just said. Okay? It's that simple. Okay. Bye.